Hi everyone, I'm Sky, and I've set up in my garden tonight for a homegrown journey vlog number one. Now, I'm a really novice gardener, and I like to think I know what I'm doing, but in reality, it's a lot of trial and error. I throw some seeds into the ground, I grow some vegetables, and I'm so over the moon with anything I do grow. But none of it's planned, and it's none of it's thought out. But I really love to learn, and over the last few years, my passion for gardening and being outside has just grown and grown and grown. So I've decided that next year is the year where we're going to do it properly. My goal is to produce as much food as I can from the small space that I have available. And it occurred to me that you see all of these amazing, like, beautiful to die for allotments and homesteads and small holdings on social media. And they're producing these amazing heirloom varieties and this huge amount of bread and produce and they're storing it and canning it and making it into all these on wonderful things which is great and absolutely amazing and I love to look at it but, but really where I'm at I just can't do that um, I rent my house I don't own it though we would love to in the next couple of years but what that means is that I'm very much stuck with the layout that I've got which is fine we've been really really lucky with the garden here they've got a greenhouse which you can see in the corner over there and um, they have got a couple of beds and a nice little seating area and a big lawn what it means is that we can't be ripping up the lawn, we can't be putting in big infrastructure and also I don't want to just so spend a lot of money on a garden that in a couple of years time I'm going to move out on. So the focus is really going to be going to be what can I grow in the space that I've got and there's little money as possible but making it as productive as I possibly can. So we're going to be looking at things of turning unused space into beds, companion planting to make the most of the beds that I do have looking at trellises and vertical gardening to try and start growing upwards to extend the amount of growing space that I've got. So this might seem like a really odd time of year to start a gardening channel. We are right at the beginning, in the midst of harvest season. All, all the summer crops are coming in, we're starting to see the autumn and fall crops, and, but I disagree. I think this is a great time because the key to success here of making the most of the little space that I've got available is going to be planning. I can make sure that anything that I'm going to do is in place, whether that's putting in trellises, whether that's putting in some raised beds or setting up the greenhouse, um, make sure that I've got enough seeds so that anything that I want to grow I've got some good varieties for so that's not quite as such random, which means by the time we start sowing seeds, maybe as early as February, March for some varieties, um, we're good to go, we've got everything planned, we know what we're doing and we're not going to miss any opportunities. So. I'm going to take you with me. We're going to plan together, we're going to research together, and we're going to grow together. And hopefully, we're going to have some amazing harvests next year.